Ida for laughing at the reason my son was given detention and not agreeing to it. I realize this title sounds entitled as all hell, but I ask that you please don't skim read. If the consensus is that I'm not and I'm truly as entitled as the title sounds I'll call and apologize. I 36F have a son 11M in 6th grade will call Preston which a teacher will call Susan 50F. Some important background is that Preston is pretty skittish and jumpy. He easily gets startled by noises or voices he does not expect, especially if they are loud. I only have seen Susan in person like twice, but she has a distinctly loud, almost thunderous voice, never heard her yell yet though, but Preston says it always makes him jump a little and apparently she's known for being ridiculously loud in general from other kids and parents. Anyway, I WFH. And I got a voicemail on my phone from Preston using a school phone saying he got detention, because Susan yelled at some kids fooling around during work time, he was startled and she noticed so she made him leave the room, work in the hallway and call me to tell him he has to serve detention next week. I did not believe that was the reason he got detention at all because that sounds really dumb and assumed he was just minimizing his role he does tend to do that when explaining his side when in trouble. So I thought I'd get Susan's side at recess while I went to lunch. I call her and I was completely caught off guard when what she said lined up with everything Preston said to a T. I wasn't sure what to say at first but I ended up just laughing on the phone before any words could come out. Susan was irritated and asked what was so funny. And I just responded that I was so sure that Preston was lying to me, because that was such a ridiculous reason to give anyone detention and that he is not serving detention just for being startled. She tells me that this is not a suggestion and that I'm being obtuse. I stood firm and asked her if she'd think it appropriate if her boss yelled loudly at some fellow teachers, you were startled and then he proceeded to dock her pay or some other form of punishment. Following up with I bet she didn't even do jack squat to the kids she was initially yelling at after noticing Preston. She got quiet for a moment and I thought maybe I convinced her, but then she doubled down and said that failing to serve detention would result in suspension or more, and I told her I'd gladly fight her in the school on this if it came to that before hanging up. I do not intend to punish Preston just for getting startled, we all do it and it's nothing worth making any issue out of. If I'm being honest the only reason chose to post is because I vented to my friend about this later. And she actually did not side with me, saying that I was kind of being a dick to laugh at Susan and that teachers don't get paid enough to deal with the things I said. So I wanna hear what unbiased people think.